Just over 25 miles away from the border between England and Scotland is Fallowleys, one of the most remote farms in Northumberland. Come on, Jan. And home to shepherdess extraordinaire, Emma Gray. I've been here for nearly 10 years now and I just love it. It's off grid, which means it's got no mains power, no water, no gas, no telephone line, no nothing. So I think that kind of makes it fairly unique. And because it's so remote, it makes it the perfect place to train sheep dogs. And it's fair to say that Emma has made a success of it. Good boy. Last year, she sold one of her dogs for a record-breaking £18,900. Hi, Emma. How are you doing? Hiya, how are you doing? Really well, thank you. How are you? Good. You've picked a fine day for yeah, it anyway. It's a lovely place you've got here. Thank you. So, you're on the lookout for a dog? We are. We, we want a, a good dog, a really good one if possible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something that's, that's right for us. We're not experienced sheepdog handlers. Yeah. But something we... with a bit of experience. Yeah, yeah. we know about really. sheep, but not sheepdog. Yeah. Yeah. So how many sheep have you got at the moment? We've about 500 breeding ewes. It's quite a lot. How are you managing without a dog? Well, we've, yeah. we've got David here. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> you know. and, he's, and he's not very obedient, Emma, either. So I want oh, something yeah. a lot more obedient than David. Well, we can see we've obviously got some dogs in training and some fully trained dogs here. So we can see what you're looking for and you can have a look at them in the field and go from there. That'd be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Learn yeah. from the best. <laughs> All right, come and have a look, look then. Thank you. And the first dog doing her best to impress the boys today is 22-month-old Carla. Come on, Carla. Good girl. Well, she looks a lovely dog, doesn't she? She yeah. looks exactly what I've got in my mind's eye. Yeah, you know? she's the type that everyone wants. Smooth-coated, yeah. prick-eared, smart, sharp, yeah. the whole shebang. Rob's clearly taken an instant shine to Carla. Carla. But will Carla. the feeling be mutual? Yeah, oh. good. Yeah, well, that's it. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your horses there, Rob. Carla's not the only dog Emma's got lined up for you to see today. This is Pip. Enter sheepdog number two. Come on, Pip. Pip's pretty. Come on, Pip. Come on. Pip's a little bit older than Carla, but she's not quite fully trained, but she's pretty much most of the way there. And compared to Carla, she's maybe not quite as sharp. You know, Carla's very much like the Ferrari, you know, she's yeah. very quick, sharp, her movements are really Just quick. a bit of a slower burner. Yeah, absolutely. She's more like your family hatchback, you know. You're right for you, dear. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> but she's a very capable little dog and she's yeah, never going to get lovely, you into isn't trouble. She? And how, yeah. how old is Pip? She is two and a half. All oh, right. Rob and Dave are clearly impressed with both of the dogs, but which one will win them over the most? It's like blind date, this, isn't it? <laughs> Will you choose one? Yeah. <laughs> like long walks in the countryside. Yeah. It is a work in progress. <laughs> Before a decision can be made, it's time to find out exactly what Carla and Pip are capable of in the field. Lie down. Come by. Come by. Come by. Lie down. Lie down. So that's Carla. Very impressive. Mm. I can't believe you brought them sheep straight to you, Rob. That's her default setting, yeah. is just to go around them, bring and them back bring to And just bring them, you. them back. Yeah. She is young and she's still got a lot to do, but I think all the basics are there. But she is a very full-on dog, you know. She's not, she's not steady. Come on, Pip. Next up, it's Pip's turn to show what she can do. Come by, come by, come by, come by, come by. Lie down. Pip is a lovely dog. I think it's she's really calm, good, she's steady, it? she's not too hot-headed, and a lovely colour. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Both Carla and Pip have impressed the boys. Steady. Which means they've got a lot of thinking to do on the long drive back to Barnsley. If we could get a dog and crack it, really, really get it going well, it could be incredibly useful. Could be just what we want, and I'm sure these two dogs have absolutely got the, the skill and ability to do it. It's, it's, the question is, have David and I? You can't leave it like that. What a cliffhanger. Do we have a dog or not? We do, Helen. Yeah. <laughs> Contestant number two. Hey. Pip. <laughs> Come on, Flower. Oh, oh, you are gorgeous, are you? Congratulations, guys, and welcome to the family, Pip. She is beautiful. Come on, Pip. Good girl. In the first hour 
of Helen's life, she just couldn't feed from Mum Audrey. It's close to drinking, but it can't quite do it. I can see its little tongue coming out, but it can't quite seal the deal. So the lads had to step in to help. Good girl. But overnight, she took a real turn for the worse. We've got the career loaded up. We need to get it to the vets as quickly as possible. I feel as though this career is on a knife edge at the moment. It could go either way, and it's more likely to go the wrong way. Come on, little one. Good girl. At the vets, Helen was rehydrated and monitored overnight. So we've got a catheter in the vein. We've got the stitches in there. She's been very good. Uh, yeah. I just feel as though, through bitter experience, once they stop feeding and they don't feel well enough to want to feed, there's usually only one outcome. I just thought yeah. the only chance she's got is to get her rehydrated. Yeah, exactly. And the next morning, there was a big improvement. Oh, what a beautiful sight. I never thought I'd see that sight again. But it was a sight Rob would see time and time again. Bottle feeding Helen three times a day. I've developed a little strategy of actually talking. She's sort of murmuring away and I just do it back and go... <coughs> I'm figuring that if I'm now a mum for the time being, I need to talk to her like a mum would. Fast forward to the present day. Hello, flower. Now then, hello. Come on, beautiful. Come on. It's now four months since Helen was born, and she's still being hand-reared by Rob in the special care unit. But she's now fighting fit, so Rob's hoping Helen can finally fly his nest and join up with the alpaca herd, including Mum Audrey. Mother and daughter haven't seen each other since their dramatic separation all those weeks ago. I'm worried that Helen's going to have an identity crisis. She's been brought up by a Barnsley farmer. Uh, she's, she's been playing with goats. Uh, she's never met an alpaca since she was two days old. Hello, flower. How are you, eh? Mm. Are you going to be all right in that big pen with the big boy, boys and girls, eh? Are you? We hope so, don't we? I think Rob's a little bit emotional about this. Uh, Helen has taken a lot of rearing. Uh, there's a lot of effort and emotion gone into this. Uh, she's a precious little animal and uh, we just want the best for her. Is it time to see the rest of the gang then? Come on then, let's pick you up. Oh. There we go. She's a big girl. She is now. a promising start. A welcoming hello from Powell's million primrose calms Helen. But after spending the majority of her life away from Mum Audrey, will the all-important bond between mother and daughter be remembered? Won't it be lovely if she appears to recognise Audrey? You know, that to me would make my year. It would uh, be the icing on the cake for this little job. All that hard work, Rob, you know, would be worth it. It's really nerve-wracking, this. I can see Audrey looking across. I'm just hoping that this, uh, this reintroduction goes well. It's, uh, it's going to be an emotional moment. Isn't it, Flower? Mm. Isn't it? Mm. Come on, Flower. There's your mummy. There's your mummy. Come on. Good girl. There's your mummy. Hey, eh? and your cousin. There's your mummy. There's your auntie. Hello, auntie. That has melted my heart. I saw Audrey run across and make a beeline for Helen. I knew she recognised her, and I expected her to. It's going to be baby steps for a while, but I know they're going to be a solid item again. Mm -hmm.